with liberty and justice for all. Very good, boys and girls. And now we say good morning, class. Good morning, morning Miss Madeline. Madeline. Wonderful. <laughs> now, I have a treat for you children this morning. We're oh. all very sad that Miss Linda is out sick today, but that means we get to meet a new teacher. Everyone, please say hello to your substitute, Mr. Langston. Good, good morning. Good morning, morning Mr. Good morning. Langston. Now, I hope you'll make Mr. Langston feel very welcome. Have fun, everyone. Yeah. Hello, comrades. Hello, Hello Mr. Langston. Langston. That charade isn't necessary with me. Hmm. You see, I'm not part of the establishment. Uh, now, before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I recently graduated with a master's in sociology and history of gender politics, and it is my goal in our time together today to encourage you all to develop as fully realized human beings capable of independent thought. Now, does anyone have any questions? I miss many. <laughs> okay. So... I see you've been working on uh, <clears throat> rhymes. Is that correct? This is encouraging. So, what, you're learning about Dubois, Stein, uh, Milton. What's a Bilton? Okay, well, what, why don't you just show me where you've left off, and uh, we'll pick up from there. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, okay. Uh, Ma Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. <laughs> white as snow. Hmm. Interesting how we default to white. Now, are we implying here that fleece is uh, 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 of white is is in, uh, uh, compared to color is inherently inferior? It's just something to ponder. Now, let me ask you, have any of you stopped to consider why it's Mary had a little lamb? Why not Murray? Right? Is this an implication that males are incapable of caretaking roles? Huh? Well, this, this is real world critical thinking, people. All right, let's just move on next. Uh, what, what else are we learning? Oh, 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 rub a dub, rub a dub, rub, rub a dub, rub, rub a dub, 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 dub. Three men in a tub. tub, and who do you who think, do you think were there? there? The, the butcher, the baker, the, baker, the, baker, the candle, candlestick baker, maker, baker, and all, all of them got to the fair. The fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this is good. I like the suggestion that three men can share a tub without fear of judgment or repercussion. But may I pose it to you hmm, that their relationship in this tub might also be purely professional. Uh, perhaps they gathered to discuss their legally protected right to unionize as uh, laboring workers. Uh, yes, yes, little boy. Do you have a question? You have a mustache. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Now let's move on. <clears throat> uh, what else, comrades? Uh, what other rhymes are you investigating? Hmm? Uh, hickory, hickory, oh, hickory, oh, hickory, 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 dog. hickory dog. A mouse oh, ran up the clock. Okay, I already got a problem with this. Now, why does it have to be hickory dickory dog? Hmm? Why not hickory vaginary dog? I like mouses. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay. We're not getting anywhere here, are we? Okay, class. Why don't you show me your favorite rhyme? What has been the most stimulating discovery that you have made in class so far? Hmm? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 Ring around the rosy, 
A pocket full of posies. Ashes. Ashes. We all fall down. Okay. Yes. Yes. A perfect learning opportunity. Knowledge is power, people. Now, can anyone explain to me the historical origins of this rhyme? Anyone? Hmm? Pockets? Hmm. Rosies. You fall down. <laughs> ah. Wrong. Wrong. This poem was written as a response to the outbreak of the bubonic plague, the epidemic that ripped through medieval Europe, now leaving hundreds of thousands dead in its wake. But, but dying's bad. Oh, no, little girl. Dying is a natural and inevitable stage of life. Everyone you know will someday die. <laughs> oh, it's a fact of life, class, and I will not patronize you. You see, your mommies, your daddies, your brothers and sisters will all one day die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> is Miss Miss Is Miss Linda dead? Oh, I don't know, little boy. I don't know. <laughs> Telling you this because I respect you as fellow citizens. In fact, even you. Yes, everyone in this room will someday die. Uh -huh. oh. How will I? But, but how will I die? The question is not how will I die, but rather how will I choose to live? Uh -huh. Here, class. Here, take these crayons. No. I want you to tap into what you are feeling. Fully investigate these emotions, then use them as fuel to compose your own personal manifesto. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> I've just given them their first lesson in becoming free-thinking individuals. But everyone's crying! <laughs> yes. My work here is done. But class is only half over. My work here is done. <laughs> Mr. Langston? Ah, yes, little boy. Fuck the establishment. <laughs> 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 <laughs>